Hello friends, I'm Dee, about to react to this vid. Uh, this is Deji and KSI stating how they feel about the Deji versus Mayweather fight, okay? Um, these are two different videos, so we're just gonna watch both of them. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see, you know, what they gotta say. Let, let's start with Deji. Hey, what's up guys, it's Deji. I just had a fight with Floyd Mayweather. It was a, Mayweather. It was a weird one. For those who didn't watch the, uh, the fight, so there was a lot so of weird. discrepancies, a lot of discrepancies. And I know this is Freud's tactic, the money team, this is what they, their tactic. Uh, let me, let me get into the nitty gritty. So Oops, in my it. contract, we were meant to fight 14 ounce gloves, all right? 14 ounce gloves. It's been in my contract from the beginning and to the end. Well, kind of the end. But then last minute, they're like, Floyd wants to fight in 10 ounce gloves. And I'm like, wait, what? That was never part of the contract. What is going on? I don't understand why it's gone from 14 to 10. When it was 14 Explain to 10. Explain why that matters. Anyway, I don't know, boxing. This, this whole thing goes on for a long ass time. It was long, man. It was really, really long. Eventually, I conceded. Uh, I said that I, I'll fight in 10 ounce gloves. But I told the Global Titans that you need to give me danger money. Because right now, I'm going up against uh, 50 and 0, 5 weight class champion, whatever, Floyd Mayweather, and 10 ounce gloves. What, what was meant to be a 14, 14 ounce gloves exhibition turned into a 10 ounce gloves exhibition. It was essentially a pro fight. Mad. But, you need to understand, I had a mad... Oh, does that mean that there's less cushion so he'll get hurt? Is, is that what that means? Massive adrenaline. I don't dump. understand. I was warming. Or them being lighter, I would think that would be easier for you to maneuver. No, I don't. I don't know, boxing. Warming up and everything. Warming up with my 14 ounce gloves, whatever. This, that, blah, blah, blah. And then I get the news. Oh, 10 ounce gloves. And then there's usually an hour and a half of nothing going on. Just you know, my team being like, what the hell? Like, it's meant to be 10 ounce. It's meant to be 14 ounce gloves. Why is it now 10 ounce gloves? My brother was there, even fighting for me. My mum was there too, fighting for me. Daily, Leon, like literally Shane as well, fighting for me. Being like, like what is this? And, my, and Ryan as well. I had people from the money team, uh, Freud's team, being like, bro, Deji, Freud just wants to go in there and just have a little fun with you. He's not gonna hit you hard or anything. Mm. I promise, you have my word on that, bro. You have my word. So I'm thinking like, okay, cool. You know what, screw it. I'm gonna just do the 10 ounce gloves. It won't be a big deal. I've got this guy's word. He's clearly like Floyd's right hand man. I'm gonna trust him. He was like, oh no, he's about to be bad. When you get into the clinch, just tell Floyd, like relax a little bit. And he'll, and he'll relax on the power. So I'm thinking, all right, you know what, cool. All right, this is all right. It's, it's, uh, we're gonna fight, but it's gonna, it's, he's gonna kind of go at my pace, you know? He got my pace. Yeah, no, he didn't. Okay, not once. The first round, yeah, he was going slow, but he was hitting me hard. He was hitting me hard. Now, he's probably going to be like, oh, that's only 40%, only 30%. No, trust me, he was hitting me hard. I know he was hitting me hard because from the first round to the last round, the power was the exact same. I remember I clinched him and I'm like, bro, relax. And you know what he said to me? Shut up. <laughs> I'm like, screw it, I'm here now. Let's bang, let's oh, fight. That's and, yeah, I mean, if you've seen the fight. I, I saw it on my Patreon, I reacted to it over there, and I did see him like, I, I saw them like talking to each other. I don't know what they were saying. <laughs> I thought I was saying that. Then I was told that I hit him 25 times. I'll take that. I mean, I gave the man a black eye. I'll take that. Realistically, that's a W. Apparently, this man has never been cut before or had any sort of bruise. So if I, so I'm apparently the first guy to, to bruise a 50 and 0 champ. I mean, I will take that W, all right? Okay. I will take, spam <laughs> Ws in the comments, please. Spam all the dubs in the comments. But yeah, I just wanted to give you my take on that. I gave Floyd, maybe with a black eye. Yeah, obviously uh, there was some stuff that got recorded behind the scenes of when I was in Dubai. I will, I will make, I will, that, that will be uploaded oh, on the channel soon and everything. Mm. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I like Dubai. It. it was, um, it was, a, it was a good experience. Honestly, there's a lot that I learned from it. And whoever I fight next, I literally just feel sorry for you because what, I fought Floyd. 
I'm, I'm not going to be scared to fight anyone anymore. And this guy was not, he wasn't holding back. People keep saying, oh, Floyd was holding Nigga back. Nigga, bye. He was, he was back. not holding back. And I realized something. He, it, he, he has like some, some ego. I did push-ups. You know, your wait time or whatever, you know, your rest time. That pissed him off, all right? When I did that to him, it, he was angry. He was like, cool, I'm going to hurt you, bro. I'm going to hurt you. I saw it in his eyes. But I knew what, I knew what the playing field was. I, I understood. It was a good experience, and I had a lot of fun. Do I look like I've been hurt? It hasn't even been 24 hours since the fight. Do I look like I've been hurt? I'm back in England. Do I even look like I've been hurt? But yeah, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, all right. <laughs> let's, let's see what uh, KSI has to say. Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy okay. KSI. We out here Reddit video. Just got back from Dubai. I gotta see my bro. Oh, this is uh, really fine May weather. And uh, yeah, I'm heading off to Texas tomorrow because I'm going to see Misfits number three, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Rodin the Great and Wally Chucks are some main event of the evening. Uh, very excited to be a big fight. Both very good fighters. Oh, baby. I'm going to get to see it live. And you can as well. On the zone, it's free, it's not pay per view. With saying this in Texas, so without further ado, let's do this. It is what it is. KSI Reddit, then uh, funny memes, the community showing creativity, wholesome posts, constructive criticism. Who are my buff? The KSI Reddit now posts about everything Jake Paul does, guys. What if KSI fought into a random person? <laughs> Bro, into a random person will wreck JJ. <laughs> KSI needs to train at least 40 hours a day. How is that even possible to beat Jake Paul? I mean, I would admit the Reddit has gone a little downhill. It has gone a little downhill, but it can't always be great. It's going to have those those periods. Ups but now it's just focused on boxing. This is kind of just a mid. This is the mid period, okay? It's not bad. It's been way worse than this, but it's just kind of really? mid. It was just chugging along. Yeah, obviously the glory days are going to be when... You know, it was locked down and we had Beerus and all of that. It was crazy, but it can't always be like that, <laughs> guys. It, yeah, it is what it is. You're just going to have to ex accept Niggas is back it. outside. And, you know, we'll get past this period and then uh, there'll be a light on the other side of the tunnel. Best believe, ladies and gentlemen, best believe. L British Broadcast W Speed, British Broadcast Company, Sky Sports Cut Pies and won't feature iShow Speed. Uh, again, after misogynistic comments, and my ooh, as he you know grows in popularity, as he gets older and matures, a lot of the shit he has said may come back to haunt him. Getting a very big case of deja vu here. For those of you that don't what know, you? something similar happened to me, I believe in 2013, when I did make some misogynistic comments. I've apologized. Like, years ago, years ago, I apologize, but obviously I got dropped by Microsoft and all these oh. other things. It was mad. And uh, that's why I'm like saying I feel like I've got a weird case of deja vu because this exact same thing happened. But you know, I guess over time we'll see him speed is truly sorry you know he's apologized i know he's apologized about uh, the comments he made either way it is what it is that your past does not define who you are he said a lot of crazy shit too i've even reacted to it he asked the girl like oh if we the if we the last two people on earth and i want to have sex and you don't what you gonna do or something like that no what was the phrase i forgot but the point is he basically implied that he would r word her it was very heavily implied. It was blatantly impl like implied. So people probably won't like that either that he's trying to work with. Oh, you change in the future. But yeah, uh, he's going to go through this period. It's so crazy. I, he just, he, he's literally an old me. <laughs> he's like going through all the motions and everything. You know, he'll get through it. It's not the end of the world. He just needs to use this as a learning curve. On his opinions on this fight, Deji got beat up for six rounds. I think for me, I hated it because I just don't want to see my brother get beat up like that. It just pissed me off. I wanted to get in that ring and fuck Floyd up. The same situation with oh, Alex cute. Wasabi and Deji. Like, it was just infuriating to see Deji just losing to someone that I know he could beat. And uh, I know a lot of you are going to be like, there's no way Deji could beat. Mayweather, but yeah, you know, I feel like I could beat Mayweather. 
just needs to get right. the mindset right. Is I don't drugs? know. Like, I just know he didn't put 110% into the training, you know, into the discipline, into his mindset. I know he didn't put 110% into that fight. Like, I, I, don't, I, don't know, I, I don't know how to make him just be his true self. I messaged him and I was like, Ditchie, you're like Krillin and you have this hidden potential and you just don't want to unleash it for some reason. Or you're like base Goku and you've got Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, oh, Super right. Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan God, <laughs> all these other Super Saiyan, and he refuses to transform. He just stays in base, base Goku form, and it's just infuriating because I know how good Digi could be. Bro, he fucking gave Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, like a fucking bruise on his eye. You know how crazy that is? Digi wasn't even at his top level and he was able to bruise. Mayweather. So imagine if Deji just really dedicated his life to training and took it seriously. The reason why I keep rolling my eyes at that <laughs> is because it's like, okay, that's like somebody getting their ass whooped and being like, but I scratched it though. It's like, okay, but you lost. You still got your ass whooped. Well, okay, congrats. You know, I want to give him his dub though whenever, you know, we can. Sure, that is a big thing to be able to find Mayweather, blah, blah, blah. But it's just a weird thing to keep saying over and over again. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> it'd, be a it'd be a monster that would destroy everyone, including me. Like, you'd be destroying for, you know, Jake, Logan, Tommy, me, bro, everyone. I just think that he could be the sickest boxer of YouTube history. And he just doesn't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's infuriating. But, but yeah, that's what my opinion was. I felt like that could have done way more. Obviously, the whole situation with the gloves was a bit annoying. But yeah, I asked him, like, why you want to fight Floyd Mayweather? If it's for the legacy, if it's for, if it's to be in the ring with one of the goats, who cares if it's 14 ounce or 10 ounce? Fine, 8 ounce. Fuck it, bro. Have a go. Do the impossible. Fucking knock out Floyd Mayweather. That's my mindset. I'm there like, bro, allow just being the person to survive with Floyd Mayweather. I want to be the guy that beat Floyd Mayweather. I want to be the only guy to beat Floyd Mayweather. Anyway, it is what it is. But yeah, I just thought like Floyd was just having too much fun with that man. Bro, hey, he man. was doing pads during the break of like the second or third round. He was just taking the piss, man. He was just taking the piss. He was just... It was too much, and it was like borderline disrespectful. I, and it just, I just hate it. I hate it. You know, I, I'm proud of Deji. I am proud of Deji. But I know he can do more. I know he can. I know he has more. I feel like this was a huge life lesson for Deji. Uh, Deji looks in shape for his fight with Floyd Mayweather. No, he doesn't. Let's be honest, guys. He doesn't. But you guys have been saying too that. harsh. I don't care. You know, he's my brother. I can. I can tell you. If I'm being harsh or not, and I don't think I'm being harsh at all. I'm I'm being real. He's not in shape. He's yeah, not he's in right. shape. Where are the abs, bro? I know abs don't win you fights, but it shows how hard you're working. Mm -hmm. All these motherfuckers in one building. Yep. But and I did fuck all. I mean, I guess I did a little thing with Woodley, but I, for me, my my goal was to make it all about Deji. I wanted it to be Deji's night. I didn't want to steal the limelight. I could have easily uh, not walked out with him and gone in and, you know, beef through Jake Paul or beef through um, Fury. I could have done a madness. I could have easily done a madness. It could have been crazy. But I didn't. I didn't. I, I decided, you know what? It was about Deji. Undertaker was there as well. But yeah, I chose to really? let it all be about Deji. What would this album be called? I know he kind of wanted okay. to make this my album come. It's kind of hard, but I feel like I'd have to get clearance from all these people. <laughs> I see all of you. KSI's Reddit videos, the three people actually making memes in the Reddit. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, come on, let's be more creative with the memes. Let's try it. <laughs> let's try and be more creative. Just shake the damn bottle. People, when their three week unrefrigerated prime has natural occurring particles at the bottom. <laughs> What's wrong with my prime? Oh, it's fucked. Oh, prime sucks. <laughs> Just shake it, you idiot. <laughs> w in the chat. Bro, speed is so weird, man. <laughs> speed is so weird. Do I smell like that? He's so creepy. Bro, <laughs> Bro why is he growling like that? What the hell? Also, why is his neck like that as well? Like, bro. <laughs> Look 
Bottom left. Fire, burn it, and Easy. then annihilate it with ammunition. Just no. Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> Bad memories of this. <laughs> this was a good hairstyle. This was one of my top tier hairstyles. Yeah, this is okay, and then it kind of wasn't okay. And then this is just me I now. Well, I guess whenever I need a box, I just quickly break the team. I'll probably say I'll go back to this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. JJ good is choice. brave taking this on. It's death. A step up from a horse. Uh, no, I'm not fighting Kong, <laughs> but you will find out who I am fighting this Saturday on Misfits Free, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Only on the zone. No pay per view. It's free, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, bro, I'm getting good at this like advertising shit. After fighting Deji versus after fighting Logan. I mean, he's wearing sunglasses, so we can't really tell. It's not really fair, but look. I mean, fucking hell, Deji got a clean shot and look what he did to Mayweather. So, like I said, imagine if Deji put 110% into his training. If you imagine this. Man, like Isaac meets KSI's mom, Yinka. Well, hopefully you didn't steal anything, mate. <laughs> Karma finally got to Vic. What's this? That has to be the best way anyone has lost 50 grand in their entire life. <laughs> Yeah, Who ass was that in there? Yeah, the wheel's pretty comfortable. I have a sh yeah, you were. We know we're both logical, logical people. Exactly. I'm rested. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think we're gonna just get some. What do you think? See Vic's hand right there? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this this, this uh, is so funny. This is so funny. This is so funny. You want you. So your brain, your brain doesn't fucking work. <laughs> you idiot. You want us to be an idiot. <laughs> Wait, that video, that Mr. Me video was Who so won? JJ about to make me act dumb. I mean, what are the chances that someone has masturbated to this image? What are the chances? Or squirted? <laughs> I hope not, but since I've said it, I'm sure someone's about to do it. Or has done it. What KSI sidemen related opinion will put you in this position? Ooh, okay. KSI isn't a rapper, he's a pop star. I uh, know, you know what? I can agree with that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty popular these days. I don't really rap as much as I used to. I do a lot more singing. You know what? It's, I, it's true. Yeah, I'm, I'm more of a pop star. JJ's music wouldn't be a hit if it wasn't for his loyal fan base that would stream his songs, even if it's trash. Well, I mean, I put out songs that have been okay, and you know they don't do as well as the songs that are way better. Yeah, I put out all types of songs, and not all of them are number ones. I've never got a number one. <laughs> yes, I have a, a loyal fan base and they're gonna listen to my music and enjoy my music. But at the end of the day, that's what, for a week or two? And then it's out in the general public. And if the general public do not like it, then it's gonna just fall off the face of the earth. And that's what used to happen uh, back in the day. I would release songs like Lamborghini and Keep Up and all these songs and they'll shoot into the top 40 and then they disappear the next week because all my fan base have listened to it and then and then it goes to the wider public and then the wider public go what the fuck is this it falls off the face of the earth mm. so yeah i feel like now i'm starting to make music that you know even the wider population people outside of my audience enjoy and i think that's why i'm yeah i'm just improving as a musician as an artist as a pop star <laughs> <laughs> the seven side men would be washed Without the Sidemen channels, uh, I don't agree. What well, Ethan, Josh, Toby, Harry? I, w I don't agree with Josh. Josh is, you know, obviously he's still doing well with his streaming. Um, Which one is Josh? With the GTA stuff. Toby, Toby, I don't do music or. Okay, I'm getting more familiar with them. I know Victor, Harry, hmm, Ethan, he had the baby. Toby. I know Toby. Did I just say I didn't know Toby? Yeah, stuff. 
Toby, Toby. I do not. <laughs> Just be doing YouTube videos. Or, no, I do not tell me. That's everybody, right? Just be like chunks. I know like everybody. Videos or collabs with Foot Asylum or JD or Adidas, etc. Like, you know, Toby has been doing bits. Harry, I mean, Harry, I, I can't believe you put Harry there. <laughs> that makes no sense. Harry is one of the go to YouTubers of all, all time. Like, really? his FIFA videos, his football videos are incredible. Ethan, his laugh is incredible. And you know he could easily just make videos if he wanted to of him just laughing at stuff, and he would do well. <laughs> Simon is still posting YouTube videos, still, still about, still doing everything, still doing the podcast. Uh, Vic, you know he's a workaholic, and you know he's been doing content for the longest time. Get a victim. and uh, he's chosen to stop because you know he feels like he wants to stop. He can do it if he wants. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't agree with that. I oh, I know everybody. Been doing. Uh, Simon is the skinny well one. I know him. With the sidemen, because obviously sidemen yeah. boost us and branches us out to the wider audience, including me. Like, I, you don't see me getting 20, 30, 40 million views on my channel, unless it's like music. But the current state of Reddit, Reddit videos have become somewhat boring. I mean, that's just an opinion. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I definitely agree that it's not at the level it used to be back in the day during COVID. That was such a weird circumstance. I don't think we'll ever get anything like that I again. Hope not. You never know. I mean, the Reddit has definitely had its ups and downs, like I said. Some of the old content is better than the new high production stuff. Again, that's an opinion. Uh, it's so manufactured now, Mr. Days, where it's one cameraman and them, not a whole studio crew. We can't just be doing the same thing over and over and over again because we'll get bored and our audience will get bored and then eventually people won't care. So we always have to like level it up or improve to try and, you know, see what happens. I mean, you still get videos where we have a camera by ourselves and we're just fucking around, but then you have videos where there's a bit more structure to it. We're trying to find the right balance for everything. And uh, the only way we're gonna find out is if we fuck around. Fuck around, the, the more you fuck around, the more you find out. You know how it is. <laughs> Whereas, yeah, you gotta you got fuck around, else you wait, won't we'll find out. <laughs> But that does not mean I'm going to try anal. Uh, don't need to fuck around. I don't want to find out. <laughs> One of the stupidest what things the Simon did from? was upload Simon vs. OnlyFans models. Literally did videos straight after Simon vs. 100 kids with fuck. Pretty sure it wasn't. But uh, yeah, we l listen, mate. We have a huge oh, no, audience, don't. okay? We don't just cater to kids. We cater to people who are... 20 plus year olds, you know, or teens, etc. Like, we have to cater to a large audience. Some might be appropriate for some audience, some might not be appropriate for some audience, but, you know, we're gonna just make content either way, whether you choose to want to watch it. But it's not us, blame the parents. <laughs> Prime would be nowhere near as successful as it is if it didn't have KSI and Logan's name attached to it. I think that's pretty obvious. Isn't yeah, that what? Cool? Most things. <laughs> we are literally the marketing of Prime, obviously. <laughs> well, you know, whenever I attach my what name to something, it's because matter. I truly believe in it. I truly fuck with it. I don't put my name onto many things because, yeah, there's a lot of bullshit out, outside in that world. And you know, I don't want to just take advantage of you guys. For me, it's all about, you know, I, I like to attach my name to stuff. That I use and I people are really honest though. I feel like if it was terrible, there would be a lot of people coming out saying like this shit is trash, it's disgusting, I don't like it. But I don't see that, so actually do. apparently people was like, it me or was JJ on something in this video? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Fifty and one in my books. <laughs> We'll, we'll have this as the last one. Congrats to Vidal Riley, bro. Vidal looks fucking dangerous. Vidal looks so scary. And he's fine again, bro. Uh, this year, bro, 17th of December, he's back. This is what I'm talking about. Man, he's active! I don't know who that is. Okay, I actually didn't know this would be a full-on Reddit video. <laughs> I thought he was just going to be sitting down talking about, you know, the fight and, you know, giving us the technical details and why this happened and dot, 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 dot. But, um, yeah, no, he just uh, mentioned it. But he always says that about Deji. He's always like, if Deji turned it up, if he actually, you know, was focused, you know, he would do so well. He's always saying that and hyping up his brother. So I love that. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, he had the opportunity to fight Floyd. Like, how many people can say that? So I think that's a huge accomplishment within itself. Uh, but yeah, you got your ass whooped. <laughs> He got your ass with, and he didn't. He didn't even try. He like, oh no, he he gave his all. Y'all saying that he this accent is horrible. I'm, I'm gonna stop. He's saying that he gave his all and that he wasn't holding back. Y'all saying that he was holding back. He wasn't. He was clearly holding back. What? Did, what? Did we watch? Did we watch the same thing? Did you rewatch the fight after, or you was just there in it? And you didn't even look back at the footage, nigga. I saw this man was dancing around. He was definitely holding back. What are we talking about? I've never seen Floyd Ball like that ever. So, um, you know, maybe he's a little delusional about that. But it's fine. He got the fire Mayweather. That's great. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.